Hey guys, that's right here, and welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today, we're bringing back Motorcycle, but we're bringing back a different version of Motorcycle this time. That's right, we're going to be rocking 2.6 Firecracker Earthquake uh, Motorcycle this time. This is a variant of Motorcycle that's gotten a little bit more popular recently, uh, basically because I saw uh, Lapacati play it uh, on his Twitter. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick it up, and I've been having so much success with this deck on this current current ladder meta. It's honestly quite unexpected and the earthquake does so much damage that spell cycling is still an extremely viable option. But before we get into some matches, if you guys could please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Also go check me out on my social media down below and if you'd like to support me in game, feel free to use code LEGENDARAY in this shop. And with all that out of the way, let's try to push up to 7,000 trophies. Alrighty, next up against Diego Slayer from MOB. Uh, good luck to him. Starting off, let's see here. Um, Alright, I think I'm gonna go in... Okay, well he's gonna uh, play in a... Uh, play his minor there, so I'm just gonna play down my knight to finish that off. Um, and yeah, let's go in with the mortar. Uh, so, not, uh, minor, skeleton, some sort of cycle deck. Okay, with the with the uh, bomb tower. So, this can be a pretty good matchup. Uh, I'm going to predict a magic archer here. Oh, looks like uh, no magic archer yet. Um, but we're just going to go in with some sphere goblins. Log should hopefully finish off the musketeer. Uh, but looks like it might not. So, we do need to add in a knight here real quick. Just to tank one hit from that musky. So, let's go ahead and actually mortar one more time. Um, he, he has to have... Okay, yeah. I, I thought... Oh, wow. It's actually... Uh, actually, balloon cycle. So, I did not expect that. Uh, fortunately, though, we have quite a few air counters. And that knight will still require a bit of a response there. So... Let's see here, he's going to allow the firecracker to get a hit and the spear goblins get some chip damage. So I am perfectly happy with how that is turning out. Um, Alright, so we're just going to skeletons here on top of that miner. We're just going to log as well. Limit that miner down to just one hit, which is just fine. And, okay, he's going to do a musketeer there. So we're just going to knight there. It may have been a little bit off on that timing definitely been off on that timing so we're just gonna have to mortar here i believe we're just gonna kind of have to sack that mortar it's not really gonna get any damage um but uh, i mean what can i do at this point so i think what i have to do is uh, i have to nader that balloon back uh hopefully he doesn't get death damage um and yeah there we go no death damage um perfectly fine his next miner will probably not be in the safe spot because he knows that uh, my my tornado is out of cycle, so let's just uh, do that preemptively. Okay, uh, looks like he's going to do that. Okay, so we do catch the miner here. Let's go spear goblins here, just to get a little bit of chip damage. And as soon as that balloon takes out the mortar, we're just going to NATO to king for a nice and easy activation. So let's see here, let's go skeletons, and let's go in with the mortar again. This won't actually pull the balloon, but uh, since I... Okay, since I... Let's see here. Um, since I have the NATO, I can just NATO the balloon over. So not too much to worry about. Let's actually get a second mortar down. He might bomb tower, so let's pre-earthquake here. Uh, okay, we do miss uh, the bomb tower, but uh, that's fine. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so uh, we're gonna have to spear goblins this, as well as a log to help finish the rest of it off. Uh, let's see here. Um... Do, do. Looks like he's going to get himself a King Tower activation, so really well played on his end. Uh, but as you can see, Spear Goblins are just going to finish the rest of this off. If he goes in with something, okay, I was hoping he'd go into the Musketeer, uh, and then I just Earthquake onto that. But, uh, okay, so let's see here, Firecracker, okay, we do catch uh, that right there. We fail the Balloon pull, unfortunate, uh, but we should be able to recover from that. Uh, and no death damage, I believe. It might, it, might, it might get death damage. Oh, looks like no death damage. Okay, even better for me. Uh, so let's see here. Let's go ahead. Oh, I played that wrong. Ooh, okay. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to NATO this stuff backwards. And then go into some spear goblins here. That balloon's definitely going to get death damage. Um, so well played on his end. Let's go ahead and uh, mortar here. Um... Okay, alright, 
Uh, let's try and catch the miner. Okay, we do catch the miner, and Mortar doesn't get a hit onto the tower. Okay, I'm actually a little bit surprised from that. Uh, so let's go Earthquake here. Ah, oh, so close, so close. Uh, and then let's go in with another defensive mortar. We're starting it. We have to start piling up on that spell damage right now. So let's see here. Uh, okay, don't exactly catch that miner. Uh, but that's okay. Let's see here. Let's go ahead. Musketeer there. So let's get a second firecracker down. Let's try and catch this miner again. Uh, let's get a mortar down here just to do some tankage. Not gonna get any hits onto the tower, but so uh, that's perfectly fine. Let's see here. Let's get another firecracker down. Ooh, okay, so we're gonna NATO this backwards. Uh, let's see. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's just literally about getting spells onto the tower. So that's kind of all I'm doing. Um, let's see. We're gonna NATO this back, and he doesn't have a big spell, so we are going to uh, win that spell battle there. So as you can see, balloon cycle. Um, obviously, the opponent doesn't have a big spell, so we can just utilize our fast cycle to constantly get that spell advantage uh, and chip him out in overtime. Alrighty, so this match here. Uh, against ALB Bossy from the Clan Black Eagles. Starting off, we're gonna cycle a log here. Uh, see if we can get ourselves an early king activation. And it looks like he will go in with a Mega Minion uh, in the back first play. So, um, okay, let's see here. We're just going to mortar as well, to be honest here. Uh, and then some skeletons down to distract that Mega Minion. So, okay, it looks like we're going to be against the Graveyard, uh, which is kind of a tough matchup, to be honest. So, not too happy about that. Um, but it'll be okay. Um, let's see here. Uh, I don't know, the big question here is kind of like, what variant exactly is he running? Because um, if he's running the Barb Hut variant, then obviously we have the Earthquake, so that'll help a lot. Uh, and he is, okay. So we're just gonna Earthquake there. Uh, that'll clear a large amount of the health on that Barb Hut. And then we can actually just go in. We, I hope we time this correctly, but we just go in with a Firecracker there. That'll help get a little bit of chip damage. Uh, we do miss, so okay. Ooh, no, that was bad. That was bad. Uh, okay, oh, actually this is pretty good. Uh, because we're going to get ourselves a King Tower activation. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. King Tower activation for us. Pretty nice, pretty nice. And that will really help our match out here. So, let's go with Firecracker here. Okay, he's gonna try and push in here. So we're just gonna... I mean, we have to go in with a Knight, which I don't really want to do, but... Uh, it is what it is. It is what it is. Okay, so yeah, Barb Barrel there. Uh, oh, Firecracker. Oh, I thought the Firecracker would get a hit for a second there, but unfortunately not. Let's go Skeletons there. And he's probably gonna... Okay, he's gonna Knight. Hmm. Okay, okay. Um, we're gonna go Spear Goblins up high, I guess. Hopefully the Mortar will get a hit. Oh, I, that was a bad log. We'll get our Mortar a hit, so I guess I can't really complain there. Uh, but I think what he's gonna do here is baby, yep, baby dragon, and he is going to graveyard here as soon as that passes the bridge. So we're gonna mortar here. Oh wow, no graveyard. Okay, well played. Well played. Um, hmm, okay, well now he's gonna graveyard. Okay, yeah, so that makes sense. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and cycle a log here. Uh, and at this point we're just gonna have to start, uh, getting tower damage. Ooh, that was not very, that was not ideal. That was not ideal there. Okay, so we're gonna have the mortar here. He'll probably bar putt now that my earthquake is out of cycle. Yep, as you can see, the mortar is going to just start sniping at that hut. So, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get an earthquake down, followed by a firecracker as well. And we're going to, uh, knight up high. Yep, as you can see, that will predict this stuff. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. And let's see here, we're gonna have to NATO this backwards as well. And that will be that taken care of. So let's see here, Mortar once again. Actually, I'll play it on offense this time. Um, let's see what he's got. He'll probably go in with a Knight. Okay, I'll just go with a Firecracker to get some chip damage there. All right, pretty good. Let's go into some Spear Goblins to protect 
the firecracker. Ooh, unfortunately, the firecracker does go down. Let's go in with a second mortar here on offense. That'll force out even more of a response. Uh, and we're actually going to utilize the nato here with the firecracker to get a lot of that stuff out of the way. Uh, and then some skeletons should do the rest of the job. Now let's go in with another mortar on offense. And uh, yeah, it's just kind of a rinse and repeat at this point. We're just going to get an earthquake down for some chip damage here. Uh, and then firecracker down as well. Mortar will get a hit too, so that's even better for us. Uh, Knight might get a hit. That's unfortunate. Oh, Knight doesn't get a hit. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Uh, okay, so we're gonna NATO this stuff together here. Um, and look at all this value the firecracker is gonna get. Oh, man. Okay, so let's go in here with a Knight once again. Let's go ahead and uh, spear goblins outside of the poison range. Get another earthquake down, and it's time to just go ham with those spells. So let's do this. Let's do this, guys. Uh, so let's see here. Mortar here, and we just have to go in with an earthquake. Uh, cycle back to another one, and that will be a GG well played. Taking down Graveyard nice and easy. As you can see, basically that King Tower activation made that matchup completely possible, and uh, we were just able to spell cycle from there. Alrighty, next up we're gonna be against Stalker from Thanks for Tilt. Uh, hopefully we don't tilt him too badly uh, today. But uh, anyways, here starting off, we're just gonna he's going in with some Spear Goblins. So Spear Goblins. Uh, oh, okay. Is he running Golem? Uh, the only Golem variant I know with the Goblin Gang uh, is Golem Clone. So that makes me a little bit nervous. Okay, it's Giant. All right. Uh, so we're gonna get ourselves a King Tower activation there real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and pull all this stuff over. Alright, sweet. He's actually gonna waste his zap there, so that's going to be... Wow, that push cleaned up real easy. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. And Spear Goblins will require a response, and the Firecracker will require a response or not. Uh, or he's just going to let a ton of damage get on his tower. And let's actually just go into the mortar on offense because I'm pretty sure he's low on elixir. Oh no, that is not what I wanted to see. That is not what I wanted to see. Um, all right. So bowler, giant bowler. Okay. Um, okay. So we're going to knight up high here. Unfortunately, I do have to waste my knight there. Didn't not. I didn't really want to do that, but I can't really. I didn't really feel like doing anything with like fancy cycling or something. So we're gonna firecracker up here. Start getting some chip damage here onto the night witch. And I think what actually I can do is here is log, and that'll actually clear out the rest of this. Uh, there we go, and then skeletons down to help finish down uh, this stuff. Okay, let's go in with some uh, a knight to the side here. Start taking down this uh, stuff. And yeah, there we go. That's actually going to take care of that pretty easily. Let's just spear goblins here, just to force out a zap on his end. Or okay, no, he's just going to let that go through. Uh, so pretty good start here. As you can see, we have the cheaper deck, so in single elixir time, we do want to be on the aggressive end, obviously. So let's see here, he's gonna bowler in the back, we're just gonna start the earthquake cycle right now. Um, uh, he's most likely running, uh, I don't, I don't think he's running graveyard because he has the miner, so I'm just gonna chill there a little bit. So what I'm about to do here is a uh, log and then earthquake here. Uh, let's see here, okay, well played, he's going to take out my firecracker and cycle to a second, uh, whatchamacallit, so we're just gonna firecracker there, let's go in with a knight as well, and there we go, that'll actually finish off that push much more effectively than I thought it would, and again, I do, uh, now know that he is fireball, so mortar will be going in the anti-fireball position. Okay, so... Let's see here, uh, let's just go in with some Spear Goblins there to, you know, start taking down the Miner. Um, let's see, activate a King's Tower will definitely help, and I think that is all we need to do to finish this off. He'll definitely Bowler here, so we're just going to, ooh, no, that was not good, that was not good. Okay, ooh, that was not, that was not good, that was not good. Okay, so what I'm hoping here is we're actually able to damage all this stuff down. Wow, we actually are. Uh, so we're going to have to mortar here. Not the best mortar positioning, of course. 
Uh, but there's not much else I can do. Uh, so let's see here. Giant not going to get a hit. Oh my god, my battery is at 10%. Uh, okay. So we're gonna have to watch out for our battery percentage as well. Uh, so yeah, we just gotta begin spell cycling at this point. Uh, 320, that is just one earthquake away. So let's just cycle to the earthquake. And that is going to be a GG well played. And I'll see you guys in the next match. Alrighty, next up against Persian Boy from the clan O. Uh, okay, so starting off another uh, set of Goblin Gang here. Very interesting. I uh, wonder if you're using bait. Oh man, it's gonna get a hit. That kind of sucks. Um, okay, so yeah, looks like we are against bait. So we're just gonna get ourselves a King Tower activation right here, nice and easily. And okay, he's gonna go into the night. Let's see what building he has. Uh, if he has the Tesla. Okay, he's got the Inferno Tower. So, of course, we still have the Earthquake for that, so that'll make things nice and easy for us. Sphere Goblins there. Ooh, unfortunate, unfortunate, unfortunate. Uh, see if I can get those Skeletons down in time. Unfortunately not, and the Knight will get a hit. So, not the best play on my end, I will admit. And now we have to begin keeping track of his Princess Cycling. So, he hasn't played any cards since the Princess yet. At least, I don't think so. So I just have to count four cards before I know he's back to the princess. Uh, so let's go in with a mortar here. Okay, uh, we're gonna NATO. Oh, that was a terrible NATO. Oh my god. Ah, oh, that was that was not a good. Oh, I, I don't know. My finger slipped a tile, and then, and then it just got worse, and then it just got worse. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do I even? I have to go into the night for that too. Oh my lord, this is not going well, guys. Okay. Um, hmm, okay, so, is he just gonna let the knight take out the princess? Okay, uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. So, we're just gonna go in with a firecracker here, follow that up with a mortar, and let's actually NATO whatever, oh no, I screwed that one up, uh, I screwed that one up, big time. Luckily though, the firecracker will get some chip damage there, so I actually am pretty happy with that. And we're going to follow this up with a knight as well. Force him to spend even more elixir defending the firecracker. And look at that, he's just going to... Oh, I thought oh, I thought he was going to feed more elixir into me. That sucks. Um, okay, so... That's a log and a half. We're going to definitely log that. He's going to go in with a goblin barrel. But I feel pretty confident that I can just nato that uh, over. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, Alright, so we're going to have to do this. Uh, up high. We're going to take some damage there, but I'm not too... Okay, I actually am a little bit worried. I take that back. I'm pretty worried here, because uh, he's actually been able to, you know, keep up with my cycling here. So, let's see there. Uh, okay, let's see. He's going to princess here, probably. So, we're going to stop that. And let's see there. A uh, barrel there. Okay, uh, do this. And let's see here. He's going to rock it there. That is a free earthquake. Okay, we're gonna skeletons for his princess. No princess. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, spear goblins. Princess. Okay, so gonna that. Uh, okay, so let's go in with a knight here. All right, he's going to probably. Okay, he's gonna rock it there. Uh, wow. Okay, the rocket actually hit. Uh, so we're gonna earthquake here. Um. And now things are going to get a little bit dangerous, so we're going to have to use our cycle here, abuse our cycle speed. Uh, uh, okay, so let's see here. We're going to have to Earthquake here once again, and hope that uh, something works in our favor here. Let's see here. Uh, okay, so we're going to go into the second mortar here. Okay, okay, Firecracker will get some chip damage there. Alright, sweet, sweet, sweet. I like it. We're gonna Earthquake that for sure. And, uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, we gotta cycle faster. We gotta cycle faster. Let's get back to the mortar here. Mortar down. Let's see here. What he's got to distract? What he's got to distract? Knight. We're gonna nato that knight backwards. And that is hopefully going to be a mortar lock. But it looks like it's not. So we're just going to Earthquake there. Firecracker will finish off that princess nice and easily. And let's actually mortar in the center here. All right, all right, okay. Uh, so we're gonna have to earthquake there. Okay, let's get a second mortar down. All right, all right, all right. Um, okay, so we're gonna earthquake here once again. 
Okay, we're just gonna log on to that. All right, it's NATO here. Uh, 309, that is Earthquake Log Range. So that should seal the deal for us. GG well played against Bait. A um, little bit close there because obviously the rocket does twice the amount of damage as the Earthquake, but uh, Earthquake actually does technically more damage than the rocket, uh, which is kind of surprising. So uh, yeah, let's get into another match. Okay, next up against Kami uh, from the Clan Trade. So uh, you know we're close to 7k when we're back to the Legendary Arena uh, for the match. So it looks like he's going to be running some sort of cycle deck. Very interesting. Ooh, Expo. Ooh, okay, so obviously, like, we have, uh, we have answers, right? We have the Earthquake, uh, but, mm, I don't know, man. Okay, so we're gonna have to, we're just gonna, oh, that was, why do, I'm, uh, oh my lord, why did I do that? Okay, so obviously, yeah, um, so we're just gonna Earthquake, and then, that's, uh, let's see your spear goblins here. Okay, he's gonna fireball that knight forward. Uh, actually that will Did that hit the tower? I think that did hit the tower. Okay, but uh, as you can see obviously we have the earthquake uh, And that that was the main point of what I was trying to say uh, So this will hopefully be pretty good here. So Let's see um, Okay Okay, so let's actually just ugh. okay, let's go in with the offensive mortar here uh, let's see here. Knight here to maybe catch a Tesla. Okay, we're gonna Firecracker there to get some chip damage. Um, I don't think he's back to Fireball either, so that'll be pretty good for us. Let's see here. Okay, that actually should be a Mortar Lock, um, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, Mortar does get one hit onto the tower, so pretty solid start. He definitely has an Elixir Advantage, uh, at least I think so. Uh, so I'm going to chill out a little bit. As soon as he Earthquakes, or as soon as he Expos, I'm gonna have to Earthquake. And, um, we're not. Okay, so let's go in with a defensive mortar here. And, uh, let's begin. He's starting to laugh a lot, so, uh, hopefully that means he's, like, frustrated. Uh, I hope so. So, let's see here. Let's go in with a knight here. If he goes, if he splits archers, I'll just native them, uh, over here while also getting chip damage. So he's gonna go in with a knight here. Uh, split his archers. Yep, native those to the same lane, and then I can just log those out. Uh, like so. Okay, 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 and let's see here. Okay, he's going to do that. That is an earthquake and a half for us uh, Okay, let's go ahead and log there Log this stuff out of the way uh, I'm gonna go in with some of this as well. His log kind of misses there So that is going to be the end of that expo. It's defensive order once again, and uh, yeah, you can see things are looking Pretty good, pretty good. Let's go into the night down. Make sure that the expo does not take down our mortar and uh, Okie dokie, okie dokie uh, Let's see here. We're gonna spear goblins right there should be the end of that expo. Actually, he's going to get a lock, so yeah, honestly, well played on his end. Uh, okay, we're gonna switch lanes now. Uh, mortar over here. Um, okay, okay. And we're just gonna firecracker here, like so. Uh, okay, well played, well played. And we're gonna log here. That should hopefully take down the knight, and well, he's just gonna feed some archers into that. Wow, the expo still gets chip damage. Okay, very, very interesting. Okay, so at this point, like, I'm totally fine with being even on damage because the earthquake does more damage, and I have the, uh, I have the upper end when it comes to spell cycling. So what we're gonna do here is just gonna cycle an earthquake here. 100% gonna expo. So we're just gonna go in with this, cycle a log here, and get back to the earthquake. So earthquake coming down here. Uh, there we go. And let's just cycle to another knight as well. And that will be the end of that expo. He will get to another expo here. So well played, but we are also back to our earthquake. So that will help quite a bit. Let's see here. Let's go in with this here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead log on I mean night as well log will finish off the rest of that expo And I mean if you're him like what do you do at this point? Uh, it's kind of just brain dead here. I'm not really playing much skill I'm just kind of cycling my stuff uh, Ooh, that expo guys getting a little close to get a lock onto the tower there um, 
Okay, luckily that'll finish that. That is not an anti-earthquake position, I don't think. Yep, there we go. All right, and Spear Goblins should be able to finish the rest of that off. And I mean, what can you do if you're the Expo player? We're just gonna actually like NATO this stuff all together so that the Firecracker gets damage on tower. Uh, 18 seconds left. <laughs> I mean, like, uh, you can't really do much. He, he can't really do much at all. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be the end of that. We're going to push up to 7,000 trophies, and I am pretty happy. So, GG well played, taking down Expo. And, uh... Yeah, that's going to be a, that's going to be that. 7,000 trophies with this Mortar Earthquake Firecracker Cycle Deck. 2.6 as well, so very, very cheap. This man's probably super pissed, but 7,000 trophies. Oh my gosh, that feels good. 7,000 trophies. Let's see what that is. Oh my gosh, top 500 in the world. That's going to be some nice clickbait for you guys. But unfortunately, guys, that's all I've got time for in today's episode. Huge thanks to all of my channel members. You guys are the absolute Gs. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below as well as a subscription to my channel. And as always, this is Leonard DeRay, and I'm signing off. See you guys next time.